Hey, what's up guys? It's Jordan Teaser's Books and today I'm going to be talking about book series that I still haven't finished. There's a lot of them. So over the years I have definitely jumped on a few booktube bandwagons and started a series and just never got around to finishing it, either because I couldn't get through the series, didn't really like the first book, or I bought them before the entire series was completed and just never got around to reading them. There's a bunch of different reasons why I haven't completed these, so I thought that I would share these with you today and you can shame me and guilt me into reading them because some of them I actually have the completed series and just haven't gotten around to finishing it. So without further ado, I am comfy and cozy and I am ready to discuss. Let's get into it. So these are in no particular order, they were just the books that first came to my mind. And the first one is definitely the most controversial, I think anyway, and that is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I know, don't hate me, I'm so sorry. I bought the first book when it got really, really hyped on booktube, when all of the really big booktubers were talking about it, and I recently started my channel and I knew that I wanted to get into this series. I read the first two books, really, really liked them, and I read, what is the prequel called? Assassin's Blade or something like that? I read that book as well. I actually liked the prequel more than I liked the first two books, which is probably why I've struggled so much, but I have tried to read Air of Fire three times. Three separate times I have tried to read that book. I get about 150 pages in and I just can't continue. I don't know what it is. I find the witch chapters super boring. I feel like nothing happens and I know that it's not just me who feels this way. I have a friend who told me that the first time she read it she skipped all the witch scenes because she didn't think they were important and thought they were boring. So I know it's not just a me thing, it's definitely happening to other people as well. The problem is is that I've waited so long and now I'm gonna have to reread the first two. It's like my greatest fear to read the first two books again and then get stuck at the third book in the exact same spot I started with. They've been on my TBR for so long and yeah I'm a little bit embarrassed about that one to be honest because I really adore the Akatar series by Sarah J Maas, so you'd think I would like this series just as much, but apparently not. The next series is the Legend series by Mary Lou. I've only managed to read the first book because that's the only one I own and I never went out and bought the next one. I, I read this about two years ago, I think, or maybe even last year, and there's nothing inherently wrong with the story. I just think that I am kind of past reading about dystopian novels and having that like really cliche love story. I feel like I'm reading it and it just reminds me so much of The Hunger Games and Divergent and all the other dystopian books I read when those books were so popular and I think I was just too late to the bandwagon because it took me forever to get around to reading it. I did own Legend for quite some time and just kept putting it off and I think it was my own fault. I waited too long and I honestly really don't see myself ever completing this series just because, I don't know, I feel like there's way more out there that I would much rather put my time into. Didn't get super into it and it makes me sad because I know some people love this series more than they even love like The Hunger Games for example, so the fact that it's topping one of the biggest young adult dystopians in some people's minds really makes me interested, but I read the first book and I liked it but it just didn't grab me the way the other ones did when I was a teenager in high school. The next series is actually quite recent, so there may be some hope into finishing this one, and that is the Darker Shade of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. I have read stuff by Victoria Schwab in the past and have really enjoyed it. I love the This Savage Song duology, and I think she is a really amazing writer and crafts really good stories. I read A Darker Shade of Magic last year, I'm pretty sure, and I honestly just don't own the other copies and that's why I haven't continued on so I feel like it's me just being lazy and I either need to decide if I'm going to take them out of the library or purchase them. I gave it four to five stars and I thought that it really dragged at the beginning and that was the only thing that I didn't really like about the story and I'm honestly wondering if maybe it's because I'm used to reading teen fantasy instead of adult fantasy and adult fantasy I feel like I don't really know because I haven't read a lot of it but I feel like it has a lot of world building and a lot of introduction to what's going on where a teen book you kind of jump right into it or you have some high action scene right at the beginning to get you going and this book didn't really have that. If I can complete this in the future it would be really awesome too because I do find the story and the magic system really fascinating. I finished it and I wasn't like eager to pick up the next book which is really disappointing. I, I really like after the first book being like oh my god I must know what happened, I must read the next book, otherwise I find that I just leave the series and it 
it's been too long and then all of a sudden I don't remember what happened. That's kind of my feelings about this one. We'll see what happens. <laughs> the next series is also a very very popular series or at least it was a few years ago on booktube and that is the red queen series by victoria aveyard that's who it's written by yes i read the first book i just remember it coming out and everyone freaking out about it it was all anybody could talk about about this new ya fantasy book with a good romance a good magic system and i read it and being the 15 to 16 year old self that I was also gave it five stars and jumped right onto the bandwagon and was absolutely in love with it but I had to wait a year for the next book to come out and the next book came out I bought it the day it came out I found a signed first edition I was so pumped and then I didn't read it right, aw right away and now it's still sitting on my TBR shelf that's basically the story of my life honestly it's just I buy a book and it ends up on that stupid shelf for years because I don't read it as soon as I get it and I hate that. I want to fix that. The more that I've sat back and thought about it, the more I realize that it's really not all that special of a story. It doesn't do anything special. It's really trope heavy. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but I think that I'm at the point where I want to read something that's actually different and surprising and I'm not a super fast reader, so for me to dedicate my time to something that's not very original, I don't find is a great use of my time. I envy the people who can read like 10 books in a month easily and can easily put a book aside to read a book that they just want to wrap up a series with and I just can't do that. I really don't know what to tell you guys like it's I'm a loose cannon. One day maybe I'll decide to pick it up but as of right now I don't really have any intention to which is upsetting because I own a book that now I probably won't ever read but I keep it on the off chance that I might read it. Also the story of my life. Okay, moving on. <laughs> the next one is not a super popular series. I don't even know how I heard about this book. It might have been from a booktuber. I might have just seen it on a bookshelf at Chapters and picked it up, but it is the Taken series by Kimberly Durding. It is a trilogy, however, I read the first book and then the second book came out about two weeks after just by coincidence. I don't even know how that happened, but I didn't even know it was a series when I bought it. And then all of a sudden it ended on this major cliffhanger and I was completely obsessed because it was one of those young adult stories that actually had the main couple together during the book, which never happens. I feel like in young adult books, you see them kind of banter back and forth. They might be like a steamy romance, but they won't actually be dating and you never get to see them actually be in a relationship together. And this book did that. And that's why as a teen reader, I really enjoyed that because I liked seeing the dynamic that they had. It wasn't necessarily dystopian. It was more sci-fi. I'm pretty sure it took place in present day and there was some weird thing with like superpowers or aliens. It's, it's very foggy, but I remember absolutely loving it. And I bought the second book and I still haven't read it. And I remember freaking out in my book haul when I got it that I was so excited to get into it right away and I just never did. As I said before, I'll probably have to reread the first book and who knows when I'll get around to doing that, so I'm just shouting into the void at this point. <laughs> okay, the next one my one friend is gonna hate me for and that is the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. One of my best friends from high school, this is her favorite series of all time. She's read it four times, I'm pretty sure, maybe more than that and she's got a tattoo based on the series. It's just so precious to her. And the fact that I still haven't finished the last book makes me so sad. And she tells me all the time that I need to get my shit together. And I know that I do, I am sorry. This is what happened, is I had the first two books, read them both really quickly, and I really liked them. And then for some reason, I went into chapters to get the next one and it wasn't there because when does chapters ever carry the sequels to a book? Never. Man, I could go on a whole little rant about chapters, but I'm not gonna do that. That's not what this video is about. I went in to get the book and it wasn't there. I ended up reading something else, and then when I finally got the book, I wasn't super eager to get into it like I was when I first finished the second book and wanted the next one instantly. And just that little bit of time threw me off and I still haven't read it, and I that's one of those series that I have to reread. Like the book is so intricate, the writing is so beautiful, and it's so detailed heavy that there's no possible way that I could pick up the third book and assume to know everything that's going on, and I won't get the full experience if I don't reread it. My friend right now is reading all of the books that I adored in high school, like the Raven Boys series, 
and she just finished Akatar. She's reading all of these books and I feel so bad being like, you should read this one next when I still haven't finished her favorite series. So I need to do that because I owe it to her and I owe it to myself to finish it because I know that I'll really like it. The next series is one that I really just haven't finished because I was cheap when the last book came out and didn't feel like buying it and just never got around to reading it. And that is the Scythe Trilogy by Neil Shisterman. I adore this series. It's one of the first dystopians in a really long time that I have absolutely fallen in love with. And I definitely think he could easily revive the genre if he continues to write stories like this. It's just such a cool concept and I read it and I go, this could be us. It's even more so relevant today than it was when I first read the series, 100%. Man, it's just so amazing and I loved it so much and I could easily pick that book up now and read it. I remember almost everything that happens in that series. I just haven't gotten around to buying the book and I want the book because I own the other two and it's honestly just me being cheap because I don't want to spend $25 on a hardcover. Oh, here's the second one right here. Let's see how much it is. $24.99 Canadian. Told you. 25 bucks. I just don't want to spend that much money right now. I could just borrow the book from my library but I've tried doing that and because it's not actually there physically in front of me because I'm just doing ebooks right now. I just don't get around to reading it. I basically just have to suck it up because I know that I want the copy eventually and if I don't hurry up they're gonna come out in paperback and I'll never see a hardcover again and that will drive me crazy. I did get both of the first two books like thrifted so if I could get the third book thrifted I'd be thrilled but the odds of that happening so close to release not likely. If you haven't read the Scythe series highly recommend because I really like it. I just haven't finished it yet. The next series is also a booktube fave and it's also dystopian. Apparently I have a problem with finishing dystopians. I don't know what it is. I think I just got flooded with so many at once and couldn't handle it and got overwhelmed and I can't believe I haven't finished this because it's literally kids with superpowers which is my all-time favorite thing to read about. And that is The Darkest Minds Trilogy by Alexander Bracken. How have I not read this yet? I read the first book, I own the second book, and I don't own the third book, which pains me because they changed the covers and now my books won't match if I go out and buy the third book, which is honestly kind of stopping me from continuing reading. Is that bad? Don't hate me. <laughs> I tried getting into the second one right after and for some reason I just wasn't interested. I think it was how the first book ended. I was like, oh my god, we have to go through this and I don't know if I want to read about this. I, I don't know, there's something about that trope of, I'm not gonna say what it is because it's a spoiler, but the thing that happens at the end between the two people, that happens to the one guy, you know what I'm talking about. I struggle to read that. Like I love reading it because it provides some really good angsty romance but at the same time it's such a pain because I'm like no just like fix it. Get over it. I'm being really cryptic but I have to be so sorry. I'm hoping I can get to this one eventually. I'm not gonna say soon because I'm not gonna lie to myself. It's not happening soon but if it could happen eventually I'd be pretty happy about that. If you can't tell, a lot of the books I read the first one and then just lose track of everything and then this happens. <laughs> Honestly, this is such a self-deprecating video. You're just hating on yourself for not finishing anything. But it's okay because there's a lot of series I have finished, but we're not talking about them today. I'll talk about them in another video, okay? <laughs> okay. So the next one isn't really high up on my list to finish just because I've heard a lot of mixed things. I just can't decide how to feel about this series and it is the Magisterium series by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. The first book being The Iron Trials. I read the first book, I got about 50 pages into the second book and then found something else to read at the time. Like the thing is, is that I love both of them as individual authors but I love them both as individual young adult authors. I never really read The Spiderwick Chronicles, I maybe read the first one or two so I mostly just know Holly Black from her young adult writing and actually the only thing I've read by her I'm pretty sure is the Cruel Prince tr trilogy which I have finished. Yay! I feel like it's weird to read that series because I'm so used to reading their teen books so I'm expecting certain things going into a Cassandra Clare book or a Holly Black book and I'm just not getting them and so it wasn't overly satisfying for me. Personally I just like the romances that they write and I think they're really good at them and so that's why reading a middle grade book you're not gonna have that and I feel like going into it it's not that I was expecting that at all whatsoever I knew it was middle grade but I feel like 
I was disappointed because my mind was like, this is a Cassandra Clare book, so it should have this, and you should like this part, and that just wasn't there. I do remember liking the first book, and I thought that it was very interesting, and I thought the world was very interesting, but I've also heard people like Emma from Emma Books talk about how the series just gets kind of worse as it goes on. I don't know if I want to like tarnish their writing in my eyes. I think I'd rather just leave it at the first book and move on with my life. And the last series that has been on my shelf for a really long time, and I'm really upset about this one, it is the Maze Runner trilogy by... who writes that book? I can see it from here, but I'm too blind to read the author name. I'm gonna be so mad. It's James Dashner. I didn't even finish looking it up. It's okay. It's okay. Well, now it's loaded, but I, I swear I remembered. The Maze Runner series by James Dashner. This one makes me sad because the reason I didn't finish it was really upsetting. I read the first two books, loved them really really liked the second one actually. I liked the second one better than the first and the only reason I think I picked them up was because the movies were coming out and then Christine from Polar Bananas Books posted some type of video about spoilers. I think it actually spoiled Allegiant I'm pretty sure and it'd been at, like two years after the book had come out and she prefaced it in the description that there were Allegiant spoilers and I thought it was hilarious. I thought the video was really good. Stupid me decided to scroll through the comments and see what people were reacting to that maybe hadn't read the book yet and got spoiled or people that were just commenting on the video and thought it was really funny and then people started posting spoilers for other series and I got spoiled for Who Dies in The Death Cure. I couldn't do it after that. It was my favorite character, loved the character, and I just couldn't f bring myself to pick up the last book knowing that my favorite character was going to die the entire time. Because every time they would say something, like I knew that I would get super emotional or just get really upset that my favorite character was getting killed off and I just couldn't do it. That one is probably the only one that I have a valid reason for, for not continuing. Would I like to read the last book eventually? Sure, but it's probably never gonna happen because I don't really have any interest in dystopian as much anymore. I feel like it's time has passed for me and I should have read it earlier before the movies came out and before more people got to it and then maybe I wouldn't have been spoiled, but live and learn, it happens, it's okay. <laughs> so that is all of the book series well, not all, but most of the book series that I have yet to finish on my shelf that you can shame me for. Please try to guilt me into reading some of these because I would love to finish them. It kind of bugs me that I don't know the ending to some of these because I know that I would probably really want to know. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guilt me in the comments because you should. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want to see new videos weekly. Thank you so much for all the support that I've gotten over the past few weeks on booktube and on twitter i really appreciate it because this is kind of me like putting myself back into the community and it's been really well received so i'm very grateful for all of you also tell me what popular series you have yet to read yet and i can feel a little bit better about myself knowing i'm not the only one who hasn't finished something once again you can follow me on my twitter my instagram and my blog i'll put all of the links down below thanks so much for watching and keep on reading guys bye i don't know what to do with this thumbnail now. Get my nice little scrunchie in there like the white girl that I am. Okay.